Let's go ahead, dive into nature this summer at Selby Gardens with the iconic art of designer and illustrator, John Pierman, to share more about this new indoor and outdoor show that is perfect for summer. Greg Luberecki joins us now. Greg, how are you? I'm good, thanks for having me here today. Okay, so let's dive right in. We've been chatting actually before we even got started about this new exhibit. Right off the top though, this is unique because this is what the artist, a retrospective first look at a collaboration of him and the gardens and his, his artwork. Talk about putting this together and why it's unique for you. Sure, so John Pierman is a Sarasota-based designer and illustrator. He's well known in the Sarasota region for his beautiful beautiful illustrations done digitally of uh, iconic Sarasota scenes, outdoors, um, architecture, uh, cultural sites. But prior to that, he had a 30-year career in New York City as a designer and illustrator for major commercial clients, national clients of, uh, of important stature. Uh, and his uh, artistic evolution even goes back to his childhood. So this is the first time uh, John's work is being shown, kind of covering all phases of his career and artistic journey. Well, and again, I feel like the Sarasota kind of side of his artwork just lends itself to Selby Gardens. It just makes sense. And he's actually been on hand to help give his thoughts. That's something that's different for you. Yes, so when we do these exhibitions where we put art in dialogue with nature, sometimes we're using art that was created centuries ago. This time we've got John Pierman, a local artist who has actually done pieces, illustrated pieces of Selby Gardens uh, locales, working with us to put together the show. He's there this week for installation. Um, he's had a lot uh, of great creative input into how this show might work and um, we're just excited to uh, present it opening very soon. Do you think, Greg, does that almost push you even more I, I, when you have the artists there in person? I think it does. Our curation team uh, you know, wants to make sure that we honor uh, everything about his work and that we uh, interpret and present it in a way that um, is uh, genuine to him. And uh, so far, it's been a great collaboration. He's a wonderful, wonderful person to work with. Well, something that I said at the beginning, indoor and outdoor, explain how this exhibit really is good for the summer as oh, well. OK, I will. So. Um, uh, we often put art into our gardens. So when you're walking around the gardens, you will see uh, several of John's pieces. They've been printed on large uh, format aluminum panels, and they're going to be set right in the garden landscape, including a few scenes like our koi pond and our historic health Selby house, where those pieces will be right there next to the actual thing. Uh, but we also have a full museum exhibition in our Museum of Botany and the Arts. So we have pieces from throughout his career on display. Uh, that's an air conditioned museum, I should add. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great combination of uh, experiencing the art outside and then getting some more interpretation and really learning more about the artist and his connections to Florida uh, during the uh, your tour of the inside displays. Well, you know, of course, so many people able to recognize his work in Florida like you just touched on. But in his uh, years prior in New York, reading some of the companies, Nick at Night, he designed that whole kind of like promotion. That's something that I remember. And so what was it? Bloomingdale's Nick at Night? I mean, it's several things that people may not know came from a local artist. That's what's wonderful about this show is that um, people don't uh, maybe know about his illustrious career before. He worked for major national publications. We've probably seen his illustrations yes. on the covers of magazines. The Nick at Night rebrand, he designed TV ads as well as um, promotional premiums like mugs and vintage clocks. He's done uh, holiday cards for the modern, uh, the Museum of Modern Art every year that, uh, that are sold there. And uh, his retail bags for major retailers, including one for Bloomingdale's, it's actually in the Smithsonian's design collection. So that wow. speaks to his, uh, his, his stature as an artist. Oh, for sure. And just overall, you know, we've been able to talk about these collaborations that have happened. I know one stuck out to me, you know, when we did Tiffany, you know, that designer, and of course the Selby Gardens. Talk about putting this together. I, I feel like the Selby Garden stands on its own, but being able to take that other step outside of what people can expect. Ex explain why this is something so unique and special and why our community really needs to take advantage and go check it out for themselves. Well, we're known as the Living Museum, and uh, behind that is uh, putting art uh, in conversation with nature in the gardens. The gardens, as you say, are a great place to come. We've got world-class collections, uh, but we also recognize that art 
is often inspired by nature, uh, and nature can help to understand and interpret art in different ways. Right. The botanical garden itself is a wonderful canvas on which to uh, look at art. So uh, what we do is we put them together and we jump around in genres and styles so that uh, every experience is new, but it always comes back to uh, how important the natural world is to all of our experience. And again, just being able to have John there and be able to celebrate his work, it's such a win-win. And as we said, of course, it is happening this week and it kicks off everybody. So go check it out for yourself. Selby.org is where you can go for more information.